Ooh, what's up guys, of course, welcome to our Pokemon Wi-Fi battle with yours truly, of course, the Disc Render, and today we're going up against a guy named Delifire, and this is a guy battle on my stream that I had yesterday, so I want to thank everybody, of course, for joining that. Uh, he won an Ori match, and uh, basically I did my best to actually bring <clears throat> a quite potent Ori team. My opponents here are definitely bringing it with a lot of good bulk in his team, and a lot of offensive pressure with both Yelizant, Ampipom, Tyrantrum, Whimsicott, Malimar, and a Jolteon. I myself use a Machoke, Slowking, Meganium, Tarantrum, Hillisk, and a Dragon. And uh, straight on at it, um, I have a few Pokemon that can actually do significant damage on his team, but also have good walls to kind of deal with those major damage dealers, to be honest. So my Tarantrum is definitely the hard hitter on my team and can definitely hurt a lot of Pokemon on his team. Uh, so I'm gonna have to keep that really, really inbound. And the potential best wall I have against his team is actually. Meganium in combination with Hillisk, so I'll have to keep those guys uh, as good of health as possible and try to work around it. And Machoke basically major damage and can do a lot of damage if uh, he gets the chance to do so. Dragon is not that viable this battle due to the core, so he is definitely in for assisted damage. But other than that, he's not gonna do much. And the Whimsicott on my opponent's team is a Pokémon I am. Well, very unexperienced with, and doesn't see that a lot, and I know we got Prankster, it can be really, really annoying, but I don't know what type of damage output it has, so I'm gonna do my best to kinda work it out, I guess, to be honest, because I have no idea how to thin it off properly. Plus, Ampom can be extremely annoying, so I'm gonna hope that he leads with that Pokemon while I myself is actually going to lead with, if I remember correctly, the Machoke. Um, so anyway, with all of these minor ports, let's go. So yeah, in the beginning here, he's actually gonna start with Jolteon. I'm gonna have to excuse myself a little bit. There's gonna be a lag for like 30 seconds because of an update that happened during my recording. Don't worry, it will actually pawn itself out. But anyway, here in the beginning, um, like I said, I had to switch out. I did expect the Volt Switch. So I'm just gonna go into Pokemon that I know can kinda take that. And that is of course the Meganium. And... Uh, Basically, that's what it goes for, the Volt Switch, and I mean, I take that well, it, it's not, you know, preferable by any means, but I do take it, and he's gonna set off his armor bomb, and I think now is where it kinda pawns out, and I'm gonna start lagging, <laughs> so anyway, um, since I knew the fake out was kinda obvious, I decided to go turn to him, actually drawing, actually taking that, and um, he could have gone for Super Power 2 in worst case scenario, but he does go for the fake out, which is great, and I am a Scarf Tarantrum. After Titan Atlas used it against me, I knew I had to make one of my own. So head smash, boom! And of course with Rocket, it is it is a perfect move. I really hope this guy learns Double Edge sooner because this will be a complete Pokemon with that. So anyway, I can risk and go for another um, head smash, but at the same time, I was kind of thinking he could go for Scald or Ice Beam, and my hill is to kind of deal with that rather properly. And yeah, he went for Ice Beam. So it's not the best move beneficially, but it's it's the best I can do really. And he's gonna switch out, and I kind of knew that. So I went for a Hyper Voice, risking the chance, of course, of uh, him being immune to it and whatnot. So he just went for it, and it's going to his turn room. And uh, resist the damage, yeah, but that is still a two hit KO. And he actually decides to stay in for this and not switch out to his Yellison. Probably not expecting me to be Specs at this point. So Tyrantrum is gonna go down. Which was really, really fun. I did not expect that. So he's gonna bring the Malamar. I know I can't kill Malamar. There is no way for me of actually, let's say, coping with that. I know a superpower is common. So I felt that my defensive wall, the Macho, could kind of take that and then deal with the psych or the Psycho Cut is gonna be a followed move and by default go for the dynamic, dynamic punch <laughs> to take him out. But the Psycho Cut is actually enough. I did not expect that, and that was a major blow to my team. So I'm gonna bring a Rometh, and um, the reason I did this was because I knew it was gonna maybe keep going for super power. So I just went for Dragon Tail. I do take this kind of nicely, <clears throat> but at the same time, I have no way of dealing with that. I need a better entry against it. I knew that, and at this point, I was thinking that he has no way of doing like real significant damage to me. So I just went for Earthquake. He's gonna go for Thunder Wave. And um, yeah, this is gonna suck a bit because I will be fully paralyzed. So damn it, Meganium, damn it! 
and it's gonna switch out, probably predicting me to go for uh, either a earthquake or a, of course, um, how's it called? Uh, Pedal Blizzard um, or a Gross move, really. So obviously, Wimscott is walling me completely. I do have Iron Tail in this Meganium, and Jim, um, I really just want to hit this thing. I knew Wimscott couldn't really do anything significant to me due to having often lead seed and whatnot, which I'm of course immune to. But Meganium is going to be paralyzed again, and that really, really sucks because that means obviously that this thing is going to keep going. And he's gonna go for Moonblast, and while it doesn't do a lot of damage, it's still in that area where I need to be not fully paralyzed, and if I hit with Iron Tail, I need to hit with the Iron Tail. So he, even though I'm paralyzed, my mechanic missed the Iron Tail instead. And that is just perfect, that is awesome, why? Why did that happen? So anyway, another Moonblast, I can take at least one more, and I do finally hit the Iron Tail, which of course I got the substitute. But at the same time now, um, he can either go for Moonblast, think that he can take me out, and then I take the risk of hitting with an Iron Tail, or be fully paralyzed. Uh, but he'll actually do the other thing that is switching out, expecting me to go for an Iron Tail, and knowing that his Jellison can take that. And, uh, yeah. Not too bad, not too bad. I should definitely have gone for a Pedal Blister Head, due to me being, of course, in the... How's it called? I doing 50% more in the Grass type when my HP in the... On the third, I don't remember its ability right now, but uh, hey, that's what at least what I meant the torrent ish um, ability. So, anyway, I do have to switch out there. I'm going to Lether, which is the slow bro, because I know that he's gonna go for a war move or an ice move, and um, I know he's gonna follow this up, of course, with a shadow ball. And I know a side shot can do a good shock of damage on this Jellicent, because Jellicent is, while having a lot of HP and a lot of special defense, it does have a lacking. Defen defense, and I know I can deal with that, and the Shadow Ball does not really do enough there. So going for the Psy Shock, I knew that, or rather I did not actually do 50%, but I knew it was going to keep going for Shadow Ball, and knowing that meant that I could actually switch into my Saladin or Hillisk, um, be immune to them, the Shadow Ball of course, and then retaliate with the Volt Switch, because the last time I had this matchup I went for a Hyper Voice, so I was really thinking it's gonna stay in and not bring in the old jump, which I was fearing had a Volt Absorb because, well, let's face it, it's um, it's a really good ability. But he's actually gonna switch out this old jump, and um, he's gonna surprise me a bit here. He does not have Volt Absorb, and uh, yeah, that's a good thing. Uh, obviously, in the long run, this is not gonna matter that much. But that was, well. I took for granted it had that ability, of course, if I was at some kind of status on it and get quick feed on it, that would be <laughs> intimidating. So anyway, <clears throat> I'm just gonna go for Bulg, actually forcing him, or not forcing him, but baiting him to go for a Thunder Wave and go into my Aromath, which, um, due to me already knowing that his thing is Specs or Scarfed, I knew I could kind of deal with that. So anyway, he's gonna switch out to his Jellicent, and I actually went for an Earthquake. I probably should have went for Pedal Blizzard because of the strength the Pedal Blizzard is in. But this is a definitely decisive point because he has a golden opportunity to take me out or go for Recover hoping I'll be fully paralyzed. And his judgment call was to go for a Recover and uh, it's not a bad play. I would probably do the same trying to save my Jellicent but Meganium coming through saying he had enough. Away with thee. And uh, down goes the Jellicent. That is awesome. That is really, really awesome. M major props to this Pokemon Meganium is awesome. So anyway, he's gonna go to his Malimar, and I knew he was gonna go for a superpower. And um, since I know Lethal can actually wall that out and uh, actually be able to take a Night Slash afterwards, I felt that it was a safer play for me to actually not fodder off my um, what's it called? <laughs> my Meganium just yet to have the death fodder, potential death fodder. Uh, it's gonna go for Night Slash here, and of course, it does a lot of damage. But able to retaliate with a Skull, hoping, of course, for the burn, which I don't get, and my Leafer is gonna go down. And that really sucks. I really, really hoped I could uh, get a burn there, or something, you know, to get some momentum. But at least I have the opportunity now to go for my Hill Disk and go for a full Switch, of course, and to then sack me off my Meganium. I knew that that was my safest way of going, but uh, I'm not gonna lie. Volt Switch took out the Malamar, and yeah, <laughs> I did not expect that. 
not expect that at all and I'm just gonna go to Borg just to actually bait out the Whimsicott because I know I can take a Moonblast maybe two and I have Fire Fang and I have Life Orb Shear Force so I know I can I have a good opportunity of take it out or rather I was so sure I would so he's gonna go for the Moonblast it does more than I thought it would it does roughly over half and uh, yeah my Fire Punch is not enough with all of the things going with both Shear Force and Life Orb, 60% more damage, it still isn't enough. And my opponent, of course, will take me out with the Moonblast, and uh, yeah, Dragon did not become the game changer. I thought it would this battle, but hey, that happens. So, anyway, I knew that um, no matter what happens now, I got this in the bag. I'm just gonna bring in my Tarantrum, which is Scarfed, and uh, just go for Earthquake. He has no, not enough HP to go for a substitute, and um, yeah, that's a dead whimsy god. So, yeah, I felt really bad here for that. <laughs> really, really strong Tarantrum coming through late game. And his last Pokemon is, of course, the Jolteon, which has no way of actually doing real damage to me. And since he is Scarfed or Specs, there is no way of him to actually go in for uh, Thunder Wave here trying to nerf me because he will lock to that. So, he went for Pin Missile, which was. Um, yeah, that's new, but Earthquake here will definitely be enough to finish off the Jolteon, so Jellyfire, GG man, it was a very, very fun battle, I think it did some good calls, uh, I took a few risky plays that definitely worked in my favor, and um, Meganium, what a champ, what a Pokemon, definitely held his own here this battle, and was very, very impressive, so Jellyfire, GG man, GG. So yeah, people, I really hope you like this battle, of course, because I sure do. I had a lot of fun of trying to make Meganium work, and this was definitely one of the battles it definitely did. Um, and he got some basic stats, but it's typing together with some good move pool, move filler moves, I should say. It kind of works and kind of holds its own here in this battle. Uh, I use Assault Vest instead of the um, Synthesize um, strategy. Uh, I don't know why I decided to do that, but it tends to have been working better than I thought it would. So I'm really glad I tried that out. So, yeah, I guess that's all. <laughs> Make sure to leave a like, of course, guys. And if you're new to the channel, you know, what's up? And remember, the sky is limit, so have a good day, guys, and take care, alright? Bye.